Neurodegenerative disease and dementia are one of the most challenging issues for human health. Many candidate drugs have been tested in human clinical trials. However, though some biomarkers such as amyloid PET or disease proteins in cerebral spinal fluid showed improvements, no drug could so far uh, prove definite recovery from symptoms and dementia. Neurodegenerative diseases include Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease, a frontotemporal lobar degeneration, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, spinocerebral ataxia, and so on. These diseases affect different regions in our brains, but across diseases, accumulation of disease-associated proteins generally occurs in neurons and or other neural cells, and such disease proteins form aggregated fibrils inside or outside of neurons. During the processes, neurons die in the brain, causing motor dysfunction, gait disturbance, a speech disorder, involuntary body movement, and dementia. Our research based on supercomputer analysis of big data on protein expression in neurons revealed a new type of neuron death due to intracellular amyloid protein accumulation, which occurs from the early to late stages of the disease. IPSC derived neuron reflecting human Alzheimer's disease shows a new type of cell death called toriad necrosis. The death of neurons releases an alert molecule called HMGB1, which further induces the similar neuron death secondarily. Therefore, the neuron death story other and the release of HMGB1 triggers each other and cause cell death expansion in the brain. In Alzheimer's disease, amyloid peptide aggregation outside of neurons has been believed a central trigger of the disease. And various types of amyloid antibody were developed for the therapy of Alzheimer's disease. However, the effects on symptoms have not been so satisfactory as patients expected. Our research discovered the pathology before amyloid aggregation outside of neurons. It begins with amyloid accumulation inside of neurons, which causes the earliest neuronal death. The cell death was further expanded by HMGB1 outside of neurons from the early stage to the late stage of Alzheimer's disease. HMGB1 antibody can block these processes. Actually, HMGB1 antibody reduces the neuronal death in the brain and recovers cognitive impairment of mouse models. In addition, HMGB1 antibody reduces amyloid aggregation outside of neurons, which occurs as a result of neuron death due to the intracellular amyloid accumulation. We hope our research with a new target directly connected to neuronal death will bring a visible and definite benefit uh, to patients who are suffering neurodegenerative diseases and various forms of dementia in the near future. Thank you.